So, GGN made an excellent video about how to get around the password protection on an Excel Word book using no VB script and no additional software. So he did that over on Windows and things are a little bit different here on Mac. So I thought I'd show you how you might run into some issues and what you could do to get around them. So his method revolved around taking your spreadsheet which is locked in some way so I can't change anything and I've forgotten the password. Okay, so his method revolved around turning this into a, uh, a zip archive, which we can do here just by changing the file extension to zip. However, here on Mac with the default archive utility, it says it's unsupported and even if it was, its only action is just to extract those files, which isn't terribly useful to us as we want to be able to explore the inner directories of what makes up a uh, Excel file. But how do we get around the fact that it says it's not supported? Well, there it is supported, we just need to use a terminal app. So just open the terminal and uh, make sure you're in the right place. So this is in my desktop in Excel example. Just make sure it's there and there it is our zip. So let's play that. So there's a internal program called zip um, and unzip, but we need to unzip it first. So unzip our log sheet and there it goes. So similarly to his video, we need to open Excel, uh, go to our worksheet that's locked. Just open that in the text editor of your choice. Now we need to find where it says protection. So just control F or command F to find protection. And there it is. Now something is different because uh, that was filmed in 2008. I think there's been some updates where the password isn't just there in uh, plain text, but it tells you it's using uh, hashing and stuff. So that's a bit more secure. So what you need to change is, is the protection parameters here, which is, you know, you can't change the sheet, you can't mess with the objects, you can't select block cells, etc. So just to make sure it's all unlocked, you just want to set all of these parameters here to zero. That indicates that those protections are now switched off. Just press uh, Command S to save and Command W to close. Now another difference is how we would reintegrate this back into the original zip. So how we would do that with our terminal apps is we use the other program, which is to now zip our um, changes back into the original. So to do that, you have to do uh, zip dash R, which means to it will replace what's in your already existing zip with what you've changed. So we'll just give it the folder Excel. So it will change any changes we made in Excel will now go into the original uh, zip. Just press enter there. Okay, and it's done that. Now just to test to make sure it worked, we're just gonna rename this back into a Excel file. So we're gonna make that an XLS. X. Yep. Okay, that's open. You'll get this thing to say it had some issues you want us to recover and you do trust the source, yes. Okay, it was able to do it, great. And there you go, see the little padlock is gone. I can chop and change this to say it is now my unlocked sheet. And there you have it.